again, like I said, guys, never tried to be a bodybuilder, but I guess I, I guess I am today. What? Hey. No words. Locked in, bro. Kyle. Yeah, he's good to go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yep. Okay. My beautiful tanning lady. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. First coat. All right. It's going to be nice and chilly. Oh, yeah. I love it. So, you know, I start you in the front. Good morning. Oh, good morning. We are awake right. now, right? I think we live in Canada. I'm kind of used to it. That's right. Get used to it. So it is now the day before. It is uh, October 28th. So my show is tomorrow, October 29th, obviously. Just got my first coat of tan. I don't know if you guys can tell. Is it actually like kind of dark? Yeah, yeah. Somewhat you now. can tell. Yeah. Dude, the, the last one, I swear to God, it wasn't that dark. I no. opened the rear view mirror thing and I was like, it wasn't even, I wasn't even that they fucked up, bro. I swear to God. This is gonna be probably the part two of the video because I don't want to make this a fucking 50 minute video. So yesterday was like the first carb up. Today, we're also carbon up, I'm assuming. Yeah, so yeah. So, I had, uh, I had one meal already today, then we're gonna do two more while I'm here at the venue. Then my next tan's at like 1.30, and then we're just gonna base it on how I look, basically. Yeah, I just like look at you, day. honestly, like, probably let the tan sit for an hour. Usually when you first get the tan, it kind of muddies you out a little bit. Let it soak in, get a little darker, and then we can kind of see how he's looking, kind of go from there. We obviously, we're gonna watch his buddies do the show, so we pre-pack some meals, need to add in more carbs, we will, and then after those two, look at him again. If we need to drive in more, we will. Already pretty heavy compared to the last few days, though. Like, meals, we've been eating, like, 250 to 170 grams of rice. We're up to 340 for our first two here. Had a decent amount of cream of rice in the morning, so. Still like the same way, too. Yeah, his body's soaking it up, which is what we want. Yeah. Get a little more pot, but like I've been saying, not really overdo it. He's peeled, we don't need to spill him, just need to kind of hold this look, dry him out a little bit, and win the show. So, only like two liters of water today, too, including the coffee. Coffee's mandatory if he even fucking not punched one in the head today. We're gonna see the other competition here soon, I think, at the athletes' meeting, and then uh, start chirping everybody, and, <laughs> and it's game time. Want a zinner? And yeah. <laughs> <the fight. laughs> So this is my second meal of the day. We basically have 350 grams of jasmine rice and very minuscule, very minuscule amount of protein, which is gonna be uh, just sirloin steak. We have two salt packs and salt and pepper, no more veggies, because I don't wanna like, I don't wanna fill up my stomach with a bunch of fiber and just be freaking backed up or shit. I just want straight carbs fill out. And yeah, basically now it's just like carb loading and just eat a meal, pose, see kind of how I look and everything. But this is my current look. This is like decent lighting, but me and my coach just took these pictures. So we kind of look, kind of look insane, low key. Look at that. So we're doing, <laughs> we're doing a little something, all right? But uh, I'm gonna go watch my homie do his posing show because day, the day before, it's the amateur show, which I believe three or four people will move on to the pro show to face all of us tomorrow. So it's uh, game time in like 14 hours. So I'm gonna eat this meal, chill, relax, put my feet up, go with my next tan, get the job done. All right, now we are doing my second tan. I'm already looking like kind of tan, but now the second tan is when everything just comes together. So we're gonna do that, eat another meal, chill, put my feet up.
so we just uh, finished up two meals, basically just running through random shit at the uh, venue. I don't even know what we did today. I'm exhausted. We got both of our tans on, obviously. I look like fucking, bro, I don't even look like myself. I'm so goddamn dark with my teeth. But we are going back to the crib to pick up maybe one or two meals. And then I got like another check-in basically at six for them to like run us through everything. Probably gonna take a nap or something. And then like start posing to get like the carbs working because if you just have all the carb meals and you're just sitting around, you gotta get them working, right? So maybe walk around a little bit, get some steps in, do some poses, touch up some poses. And then yeah, basically it'll be game time tomorrow. So I will uh, catch up with you guys when we're posing and just vibing and shit. So. Sounds good, big man. Good. Oh, and and we went to the casino and he fucking, would you win 500, 500 bucks? bucks? 500 bucks. Get some steps in. In like 30 money. seconds. <laughs> so, we're winning. We're, we Make already some, won, bro. Some, yeah. Quarter turn. Glue hard, lean forward a little bit. Abdominal side. Nice. From last spread. Hands on hips, most muscular. Tricep this side. Side track. Ugh. How are we looking? Over here. Almost what? 600 grams carbs today? Yeah, 580. feel full. Holy shit. I just crushed 400 grams of <laughs> potato. And what? What was in that meal? 85 grams of steak? Something like that? Okay. Little secret. You want a shot? Uh, yeah. Coach asked to take a shot with me right now. So, before a bodybuilding show. Actually, I don't know the logistics behind it, so <laughs> big man. Why, why do we do this? Secret. Come on, man. No. Dries you up. You, you guys have all been there. You go out for a night, have a few too many of these. You wake up absolutely peeled. Alcohol will dehydrate you when you're dehydrated, a little more dry. Muscles are gonna pop, you're gonna look better. So you need Brett here, two ounces of vodka. Help dry him out tonight. Two shots of vodka. <laughs> Just two shots of vodka. Raging full, help him dry out a little bit. Water's gonna be very limited tomorrow. See how he wakes up. Keep driving the food in. And yes, sir, 600 grams carbs today. Two shots. And uh, I actually don't want to do this, but come on, you have to, man. All right, cheers. Thanks for uh, bringing me to wow. this point, eh? No. <laughs> We're going I would for... throw up. I would throw up. Well, oh. I'm gonna be feeling good. I'm gonna be having good sleep tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I better wake up dry too. <laughs> I need it. I need it. <laughs> 250 dry. Late entry. <laughs> when they ask me for the photograph, both, draft, I both might be natural. Gone. Both natural. <sighs> Gotta let the people on uh, Snap know. Hey guys, if, you, if you're not following me on Snap, I don't know what you're doing at this point. But. Mm -hmm. That was good though. 10 minutes. <laughs> that was good. Fall up the stairs. Yeah, I'm gonna wake up dry as shit tomorrow, hopefully. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna make two of my meals that I need to bring tomorrow because basically I hop on at 6.30 tomorrow. <laughs> Let's back up. <laughs> <laughs> we all hop on at 9.30 tomorrow. Depending on how like long the process goes, I hop on at 9.30, but then my 
finals will be at like 12 31 so i'm gonna make a meal obviously in the morning then i'm gonna have a meal like in the car as i get there then have like rice cakes and honey and all that shit as pump up after when i get off the stage depending on the timing and shit i'll have that next meal so i'm gonna make those two meals right now but i'm tired and hopefully get more than two hours of sleep so i'll see you guys in the morning for game time All right, meal number one, heavy ass carb meal. We got 150 grams of cream of rice, one whole banana, 30 grams of honey. Then we got 30 grams of natural peanut butter and 15 grams of whey. Then I'm also having some vitamin C and uh, it's called like watertight. It's like a diuretic basically to just make sure all the water's going through. I'm not having that much water today. Um, with this meal, I weighed out 200 milliliters. Cause again, today I don't really need to be having a bunch of uh, water and shit. I'm just trying to fill my body with glycogen, get as full as possible. So this meal is gonna be huge. Like this is 150 grams of cream of rice, man. This thing is fucking heavy as fuck. Well. How much peanut butter too? Before I even touch this meal though, I'm gonna have a black coffee, hopefully to make myself just shit. I'm not bloated as hell on stage, so. I'm gonna whip this up, eat this, and then uh, probably eat my next meal in the car and then just dial in, so. Do or die, baby. Quarter turn. Good quarter turn for a double bicep. Good, blow it out. Nice. Side chest, opposite side. Good, legs hard. Abdominal thigh. Woke up at 173 and I had like 600 grams of carbs yesterday. Wow. It is currently show day, guys. It is uh, October 29th, 5.52. So I'm gonna crush a couple meals here. We don't hop on till like 9.30 probably, but need to start filling up again. Um, yesterday I was 174.2 pounds, I believe, fast in the morning. So minimal water today, a couple meals. Carbs. Touch up this tan. It looks patchy as fuck. I was sweating my ass off in bed last night. Yeah. yeah. Slept three hours last night. It was just so fucking. I even turned on. Uh, I don't know if you heard. I turned on the fan, like the white fan noise. Cause I couldn't even sleep. I'm like, I gotta listen to something, bro. Tyler, thanks for having me. Thank you for filming this shit. with your other arm, like you're the most muscular. Yeah, that's actually a really good shot. Okay, good. hopefully they don't call it, but if they do, you know what happens there. Ah. <laughs> so, hopefully they can don't you, call that one. Can you do that one more time? Yeah, calf roll? Just calves. Can you squeeze your cheeks too there for the can? Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> nice. Lean back those wrists. Oh. Hard on the hands. Nice. Rear last spread. Right, number six? Uh, number nine. Brett Walsh. We got two people today. <laughs> well, you're gonna two for right now. There we go. What's the secret sauce today? Sups, pump serum, scoop and a half. Four packs of salt. Okay. 
Uh, we're backstage. I got the approval this time to actually fucking film, so we're not <laughs> sneaking this in. We hop on in like I think 40, no, like half an hour. So, so we're sipping on like pump serum and shit. I didn't take this last time, but I've been doing some like trial and error type shit where I've been taking this for posing, and I feel way more full, especially when I have like some rice cakes, some honey, or I'm just like full of glycogen. It just the combination of the pump serum and that just feels amazing. Like I just I feel it. So we're gonna start. Um, I just. Like fixed up my tan and shit, so now I'm basically just eyeing up my competition, see who, see who's actually gonna compete with me today. So, not for real. Shout out all the competitors, man. I'm not trying to <laughs> talk shit, but get some rice cakes here and fucking start pumping up. And again, like I said, guys, not a bodybuilder. Never tried to be a bodybuilder, but I guess I, I guess I am today. But I ended up being a pretty it. good bodybuilder. <laughs> I hate to bring it to you, you're a pro bodybuilder now, dude. I literally like what, four months before that, I'm like, oh. Might as well do a show, see what happens. Quick trajectory upwards, it's a good thing. And then uh, gear. You saw it here first. <laughs> <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> Two rice cakes, fuck ton of honey, right to my chest and my glutes. Much honey. Oh yeah. Even distribution. Oh yeah. In, bro. Kyle, two for two. Ready to rock. Watch this. Thank you. 
Face front. 
voices of pro men. I swear to God. And that's like that and like the quarter turns like my worst poses so like I expect to get fucking smoked in terms of that. But shout out these two mutants bro. They were huge. Like that one guy beside me was stacked bro. You know I brought the best possible package that I could bring. I can't complain. I gotta get better at like the just the relaxed poses. I think it's kind of stupid like you were saying. You were like yeah. if we hopped into the fucking Yeah like pose. CPA shows in my opinion should be based off muscularity. Like your front double, his best pose ab thigh in my opinion, beats the whole lineup. He hit it twice, they ran through the quarter turns probably like what, 20 rounds? Dude, I think I hit ab and thigh. Which I mean, all around, look fucking lights out. Some of those dudes, freaky dudes. I think we go back out for like personal routine, but I think I'm top five, I don't know. Obviously not what I wanted to Sorry, end up being. Yes. Did you guys get photo packages? Yes, we did, yeah. Okay. Honestly, like I said, I'm not a bodybuilder. I just love doing this shit, it's fun. Shows you guys fucking crazy discipline too. Like I suffer. Well, you make me suffer, but I suffer. Controlled suffer. Control. <laughs> Vol voluntary. Yeah, suffer. yeah. But yeah, I fucking I love this shit at the end of the day, and uh, I don't know what we're gonna be doing moving forward here. Like in terms of today, like I'm pretty sure I do my posing routine, and then they do awards, like top five or something. I don't even know. So cross your fingers, guys. We're top five. But thanks for watching, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, I. I, I I like to win and I like to be in the center and all that shit, but you gotta give credit where credit's due and some of these guys were fucking crazy, man, and I just gotta be better for next time. So. I'm gonna eat this, I'm starving, then I don't even know what's going on, so catch you guys in, I don't even know, 20 minutes. I'm actually starving right now. Like, you guys don't understand how hard posing is, bro, and we were up there for what? 45 minutes, probably? <laughs> Now we're gonna have three more rice cakes, uh, chocolate rice cakes, a little bit more honey, kind of like a pre-workout meal-ish. Probably practice some posing here real quick. Do my posing routine, and then you want some. As you can probably tell, we are back home now. Just drove home uh, after a three hour drive. The last clip you guys probably saw was my posing routine. Went pretty solid, but like I was mentioning backstage, they judged a lot of the competition on the symmetry. So it's basically like two rounds, right? So it's like symmetry. It's like the full, you know, quarter turns and front, back, relaxed, front, relaxed and all that shit. And that's like my worst poses. And then the second half is like the bodybuilding muscular type rounds. So that's like front double, front, back, lat spread, all that shit. And that's like my, not perfection, but that's 
where I kind of shine. But they judged most of that competition off symmetry. And unfortunately, I just didn't have, I just didn't have that compared to some of those guys, man. They were fucking mutants, like I mentioned. So I thought I was gonna crack the top five. I was out there on like the fifth kind of part of the, you know, where it goes one, two, three, four. I don't know how they judge the placing and shit like that, but I called the top five at the end and I basically got sixth place. So it's kind of shitty, but you know, I got to give credit where credit's due. Like I mentioned, like some of those guys were freaks, man. A lot of them were, you know, I'm not discrediting their work, but they're like a couple of the guys that I talked to, they were like 33 and 34. So, you know, I'm 24. They got like 10 years of bodybuilding on me. So you got to expect muscle maturity, especially with those guys to be pretty, pretty phenomenal and hats off to them. So I'm really sorry guys. We didn't bring it home. Like last time, you know, I feel like I let a lot of people down and you know, my main goal is always to, it's always to win. Everyone wants to win. It's the best when you win. You get a trophy, you get a medal and all that shit. It's cliche, but you know, if you beat your previous self, I guess that's all you can ask for. And I definitely think that this stage presentation that I brought was way better than when I actually won my pro card. And you know, this is a pro show. I have to expect pros to be there and good competition. I'm not saying there wasn't my last show, but there was definitely some stacked dudes like I mentioned. So now that just means that I got to work on a couple things. I got to fix those poses. I've probably got to get bigger if I want to compete naturally still as a pro. Again, I'm sorry guys um, that we didn't bring it home. I appreciate all the love and support. I would not be doing any of this. I wouldn't be here honestly without you guys and either using code TURB or sending me messages, sending me DMs, sending me your stories, or if I motivate you, if I give you discipline or I coach you or anything like that, you know, I hope that I can help at least one person maybe hop on a stage or to commit to the gym or to commit to a diet because a lot of guys talk a lot of shit, but they don't actually, you know, walk the walk. And that's what I hopefully can show you guys through some of my videos or some shit that I say. And hopefully it helps you guys with your own life and health and fitness and bodybuilding if you're into that shit. So I know I said it again, but fuck, I was pissed on the way home. Tyler can, Tyler can agree with that for sure. Man behind the camera, you know, it is what it is. And I got to focus on improving for the next time I hop on stage. I'm not sure when that's going to be maybe like a CPA show next year or something like that. But yeah, truthfully guys, all my family and friends to everyone who came out to Tyler behind the camera filming, you know, my mother, my father, my brother, uh, my close homies in the gym, Ina, everyone who came like you guys are a blessing in my life and I wouldn't be here without you guys and obviously all you who watch these videos and like comment whatever just support me in some way I truthfully fucking love you guys from the bottom of my heart so thank you very much and anyways guys thank you for sticking around for this journey of prep for nationals I'm gonna start a bulking series probably here soon and just get back to regular content and feeling normal in my daily life eating regularly again thank you guys thank you god bless your guys' souls yeah man I don't know what else to say but thank you, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I love you guys. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Love you guys.